Hi all, in reading your uh, discussion forum posts and the things you sent to us individually, the Minnesota Nice pieces and also the reading responses, in reading those and responding, I was charting some themes, doing a little qualitative research while I was reading. And I shared that research, the threads, the um, what pulses I was finding with Senenge. And from that, we came up with um, three focuses or springboards for this first assignment module. Um, and it's first in the seminar for you all, but it's also the first time we've built the assignments into the module in this particular way. So our thinking in putting these three things together is that they all link to more day-to-day -day aspects of our teaching and learning and our inclusion-oriented aims um, by looking at classroom sessions, by looking at how people prepare for them. So in these three focuses, then, we're really asking you to think, yes, about your big class, but to localize things. What would it look like during the first week to have students join in with you in thinking about participation, maybe because you've reworked some documents or ways you describe that in your course or how you're going to grade it, those kinds of things. What would it be like if you refigured some of your homework assignments by thinking overtly about metacognition, the learning to learn skills that students often feel they don't have when they come to college, and rightly so, um, as some of the resources we share will point out. And also there are some things in terms of the Minnesota Nice, but also in terms of the writing you were doing and reflecting on the readings of how would you get students to talk to each other, to listen and to engage. And as one of my colleagues in a high school setting puts it, to think about discussion is not just about a particular set of norms that we often receive, middle class, but to think that what you're doing in discussion is observing how other people do communication, what their interpersonal behaviors are, the spoken and the nonverbals, and to take those into account and learn how to value them all being present in the space where you're having the discussion and then building your own discussion habits around that. So we're thinking those many things as we put these assignments together. Um, and also I was thinking about how much the small things um, are implicit in what we do that we have particular ways of doing uh, preparatory work in our fields or expectations about homework. Do, but do we link our expectations to our field and think about how those expectations could be shifted slightly to help students learn? Do we think carefully and clearly about what our expectations are about participation, especially if we grade it? Are we grading it fairly or are we working out of a common sense idea and forgetting that my common sense isn't your common sense. And it's really great to have those, both of those common senses in the room. Um, and as the last thing, I found myself really thinking as we were preparing this about something my friend in Nuru, my colleague Nuru in the graduate school said when she described her work with community of scholars who are graduate students of color, domestic, um, students uh, from a broad range of backgrounds. And a couple of her students said they felt like coming to school as graduate students and as undergraduates in that former role, as people who were carrying a wallet while everyone else was carrying around a big backpack. They didn't know they needed the big backpack. They didn't know all the stuff that was already in it. They hadn't ever accumulated it. So they were trying to navigate with just this wallet and it wasn't getting them to all the places and it wasn't giving them the protection or the information they needed. They didn't have it at hand. They had to go somewhere else to seek someone else out. So I think about those students um, too. I thought about those students and putting the resources together and this assignment generally. We've set up a survey link that you'll find in the um, module so you can let us know what you're thinking about. You can also let us know questions. Um, you're going to have them because we have them. This is a brand new assignment. The next thing I'm going to do is record an even shorter intro for each of the three sets of focuses um, to give you some context of what's in our heads so you can hear our words rather than read our minds.